What is going on SafeMoon Army? It is SafeMoon Surge here yet again with another video for you all today. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that each and every single one of you have shown me. And if you have not yet, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I do appreciate the support. And with that being said, let's go ahead and take a quick look here at Deck Screener. Current volume for the SafeMoon swap per Deck Screener right now is 2 million. And a good portion of that is because of Grove. We have 910K in volume, uh, as you can see here. And then you have obviously Wrap BNB and then Safe Moon and then the rest of the partners. And so it's it's good to see that Grove is still continuing to trend and people are still continuing to buy into it. And so that is helping a lot with the volume uh, for the Safe Moon swap. Now, the price of SafeMoon right now at the moment is continuing on a downward trend. We're at 303924. I know a lot of people are like, would we ever see this price again? Um, you know, we've come down quite a bit since the last couple of weeks, to be honest. Um, and that's just part of it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we are where we are right now uh, with crypto. And SafeMoon is not the only one that is at such a low price point. And to be honest, I think a lot of people are just discouraged. To be honest, a lot of people are still, they're not even hoping anymore. They're just like, you know what? It is what it is at this point. We've griped enough. We've complained enough. Still no product. Still this, still that. And that is understandable. That's the sentiment right now within the community. And I'm sure the SafeMoon are team notices that and they hopefully can understand where we're coming from and knowing that hey look you know we were promised this but didn't get anything where are these products that we are supposed to get where's all the hype okay and then it's kind of funny because you know safe moon will come out and tweet you know a couple days and be like all engaged and then they'll step back and be like be silent they'll just go mia and we don't hear anything from the team or the official Safe Moon page at all, um, you know. So it's a very interesting concept that they're utilizing. Um, you know, at least we do get some things here and there from the CEO John Caroni and maybe some some other core team members. But as far as the official page, not very much. So we did get some interesting things, and there's a lot of things being talked about with the blockchain now. Now, I don't have a problem with that, and I think that is very cool that, you know, the blockchain is being brought up again because the first half of the year, it was not ever really mentioned, and now it's being mentioned. Um, and so usually when they're quiet like this, it's because, you know, they're working really hard. And so the blockchain being talked about now is very interesting. We had John Caroni um, say... The real world does not move as fast as the blockchain industry. So oh, let me exit that. So when our industry overlaps with another sector, slowdowns happen. But I can appreciate the sentiment of wanting things now. So someone says, sadly, that's how the real world works. Um, and so him bringing up the blockchain, which this is just one thing that he said about the blockchain. And then... Secondly, he brings up this right here. This was a tweet of seven hours ago. The cryptography you use for a blockchain is important. So again, he's bringing up the blockchain again. He says it can affect a chain's TPS, which is transactions per second, also known as speed, scalability, and more. Do you aim to build a blockchain for thousands or billions of users? Question mark. Safe moon. Hashtag safe moon hashtag blockchain now if you go in the comment section you know a lot of people are either excited about it or just being like dude you're bringing up something you're not gonna ever deliver type of type of mentality like you have someone right here how about start releasing products you were in the product delivery stages eight months ago with products with no products delivered during that time get 70 likes SafeMoon Illinois says, sounds like SafeMoon's working on building a blockchain that can really put out power to make fast transactions. Stellar, also known as XLM, has the fastest at 83.26 per second, 
or 7.1 million a day. If SafeMoon can get close to that or even better, sheesh, we'd be, we'd be the gold standard blockchain beyond crypto. So you have that type of mentality, but then you also have this type of mentality, right? You have this guy saying, preach, love the community, a bit tired of this type of communication without anything in terms of useful info. And then, you know, you could just go down this uh, and see kind of what people's reactions are. You know, at the end of the day, what's really important here is I think John Caroni and the SafeMoon team need to really get an understanding of how people are starting to be affected by the fact that no products have been really released other than the wallet updates v2 you know so on and so forth but as far as like what they've said the card the exchange the you know the blockchain the blockchain not so much because they haven't really given us like a an estimated eta on that but as far as the card and the exchange, yes, they did give us an ETA and that wasn't released. So a lot of people's hope in SafeMoon really has kind of gone away. They're not really hoping for much. And the reason why I say that is because if we come here to SafeMoon Globus, in the last 24 hours, we've had zero, zero new holders, which is the first time I'm ever seeing this since covering SafeMoon. And that's not the best thing to see. And this is where I'm getting to the point where I'm saying that SafeMoon, the team, needs to really put something out. At this point, they need to because we're not gaining any more new holders at the rate that we were before. People are losing hope, which you don't ever want in a community. Um, if they start losing hope, they start losing passion. And when they start losing passion, it's really hard to get them passionate about it again. Um, and they just kind of forget about it. And you don't want that as a community. You want to keep the community passionate. You want to keep them engaged. And SafeMoon is dropping the ball on that. Although there is people like myself and there are other people, you know, still hosting spaces, etc., but that's not the whole community. We don't make up the whole community. The whole community is you guys, the SafeMoon Army. And I'm just a small like piece of that, like a very small piece. And so in order to, for SafeMoon to continue on the trajectory that they were, they're losing momentum at this point. And if the Safe to, SafeMoon team doesn't see that or understand that, which if they do they realize that, you know what, it's time that we start to really hear them and put some products out. Not that we need them to rush, but them to also understand, look, we can only put this off for so long. You know, maybe there are delays, maybe they're still trying to implement some couple, a couple features, whatever the case may be. But at this point, SafeMoon needs to really, really put something out to reignite that passion reignite that fuel because right now even though one of our other partners is doing really well a lot of the focus is on them now which is fine because they're within our ecosystem and that still gives safe moon attention right but to see a partner also like just kill it and do so great and continue to have that momentum Safe Moon needs to realize that, you know what, they are not the biggest, baddest, you know, fish in the sea. There will be others who are trying to take its place and they need to innovate. They need to put things out. Um, you know, at the end of the day, who knows what's going on behind the scenes? You know, maybe we could get something out of the blue and that is possibly what's going to happen. You know, we might just get the card dropped. And the exchange out of nowhere you know and that's what will reignite the the fuel in the safeman army but time will tell and we will see but for right now i mean i think safeman really needs to put something out and sooner rather than later that's for sure so would love to know your guys' thoughts i mean that's just my thoughts kind of my my honest opinion on everything um you know, at the end of the day, everyone is trying to just continue to 
you know, stay in there, um, especially people who have invested quite a bit into SafeMoon. You can see SafeMoon Night here. Some bullish words from SafeMoon CEO Captain Hoddle regarding the blockchain, not just strong, SafeMoon Army strong. So, you know, some people are very, you know, you still see SafeMoon trending, but you see Grove trending number one, SafeMoon number three, a couple other ones, SHIB, um, B Rise, Saitama, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, Safe Moon is still up there, no doubt about it. But um, at the end of the day, we have to just continue to stay uh, optimistic. You can see that Fabo did put this out. Someone said, not at all, just less unnecessary hyping. The company's actually constantly scaling upwards. And he says, scaling and building. You know, yeah, I mean, I believe they are. You know, so we'll see. Time will tell. And hopefully real soon we get something from safe moon so that is all i have for you if you guys have not subscribed make sure to subscribe for all things safe moon and with that being said i appreciate you all and i will talk to you all in the next one